Alright guys, he's Invisible Man, slash Red Rider. Um, you know, we have a lot of new people in the company, people who ask questions like, oh, what weapon should I use, what shotgun should I use, what sniper should I use, and I can't claim I'm, like, the master at every weapon that I have, but I can't tell you why I use the weapons that I use. So, hold on, let me clear the lag up. Anyway. The uh, weapons I use, I suck at rifle, so if you ever want to get proficient with the rifle, you want to get your hands on one of these babies. It's a machine gun. It has a hundred bullets in its clip. So the reason why you know I chose this is because I'm bad at rifles and with more bullets I can actually you know develop a little bit more aim over time as I use it. Now, I don't really use the rifle that often, so uh, pretty much it's like a crutch for me because <laughs> I can't win any rifle fights. But I do know that if I wanted to try to get better at rifles, this is the gun I would use and uh, eventually go down to a more normal rifle when this disappears and use like a Drang or a Rage 5. And in this game, you really want balanced rifles. They are the best. Um, when you start out, the E15 that every character has is pretty good. And the reason why you want balance is because, you know, it has everything that you would want in a rifle. And it, it does a little less damage than like the F2 power bomb, but it's versatile. In every situation you can use it. Um, you know, different rifles depend on the situation. Like if you have the SM45, that's a close range rifle. You want to be mid-range if you want to kill someone with it. And you have to be pretty accurate because it only has 25 bullets. So it's kind of like the shotgun of the rifle world. Now an MG, very good for open maps, very good for chasing people down. Um, a balanced rifle, good for all kinds of situations. So that's essentially what I know about rifles. Um, there are probably better people out there that would know more. Unfortunately, they don't really want to answer your questions because most of them are too busy or don't really feel like answering forum posts or your objective forms. Now, the next weapon I use is sniper. Different snipers have different uses. I use the starter sniper because it has great reload rate, rate of fire, and very good accuracy so that when I dash I can still be pretty accurate because um, what pe most people may, may not realize is that dash lowers your accuracy completely so if you have a low accuracy sniper rifle the reason why you can't get headshots is because uh, it's inaccurate if you have inaccurate snipers you can shoot at the body and it might curve up and hit the head it happens sometimes if you really want to be super accurate and don't have the starter sniper, get the HK9. The only downside is the reload rate sucks. Uh, the reason why you would want reload rate is if someone's charging you with a rifle and you fire the sniper and you're running away, it'll reload pretty fast and you can shoot it again. Slower reload rifles, obviously, you're pretty much a goner unless you can get away from them. And that's, you know, what I decide when I want a, rifle, a sniper rifle. Uh, Another tip, get rid of the scope on it. You don't really need to use the scope at all. Get the uh, the laser sight and the dot sight. It'll turn your um, little target aiming thing, the, the crosshair, red every time someone's within your range. So even if you don't see them, like if they're behind this door, it'll turn red for me. So on maps like Mag M, when you can't really see that far, if it turns red, shoot, you'll probably hit them. Also, without the scope, you can throw grenades, which is also a plus. Uh, let's move on to rockets. The higher the damage, the higher the blast rates. So, I mean, if you're playing on PvE, like co-op or something, you want a slow rocket that has a lot of damage, because it'll just hit for so much more. But if you're playing PvP, a fast rocket is which pretty much the standard because, you know, obviously it's easier to hit someone that's trying to run away. Um, if you're firing a rocket, shoot at the ground, at where they're going to be, 
The thing with the rocket is that even though even if you have fast bullet speed, people who are skilled will know when to dodge it, how to dodge it. So you need to learn with the rocket how to predict people, which is unfortunately not what a lot of people do. They see the target, they fire, and they do like you know on Magam it's pretty much just blind firing of the rocket till you hit somebody and, and kill them. Um, a good rocketer will predict your movements, and if he knows you're going to jump, he'll aim up and fire, like, a split second before you even jump, and he'll hit you. He'll know where you're going to be at, and, uh, pretty much that's the only way a rocketer is going to survive on a bigger map. On closed maps, it's easy, because there's, people don't have many places to go, but on a map like this, where it's open, um, you have to know... <laughs> if someone's gonna jump up, you'll have already fired the rocket and you'll hit them with it. So the rocket, you need to be able to read your enemy's movements, which for me, since I play aggressively, uh, well defense, aggressive defense, um, sitting in place and camping and then waiting for the right moment to fire is great. Like for example, there's a, there's a guy I play on this map who caps here, if he sees, he sees me here, he knows I'm there, and he knows that I'm gonna charge him and fire my rocket. So, sometimes he'll jump up and run to the door. So I just wait for him to jump, and then I fire the rocket, boom, I hit him. Or, another guy does the same thing. He sees me coming, he'll run and jump. So I'll roll and fire backwards, and kill him. So that's what I mean by predicting. You need to know where your enemy's going to be. And that's just a useful skill in general with any weapon. But, with the rocket, it's very essential. Um, sometimes if you use a slow rocket, you will trip the fuck out of your enemy because they see all these fast things moving around. Then they see the slow rocket, and they're like, you know, the deer in headlights. They go, what the hell? And they get hit with it. Or you shoot up, and they see it. They instinctively jump into it. Maybe they roll backwards, and then the rocket hits them in the face. So slow rocket, I mean, overall, you don't really don't want to use it, but it is, you know you'll hear from a lot of players that it does kind of throw them off their game sometimes uh, moving on to shotgun this weapon I will tell you right now range is your most important weapon because if you want to kill a lagger who's running away you know this is how it'll work you shoot him here right in front of you, he's right here on the lagger screen he's like right here with more range, you're going to hit him. With less range, you might hit him for a little bit of damage. So, you know, that's one reason why range is good. If you see him on this door, the range will help you shoot him and then you can run away. Because shotgunners have a very short lifespan. Because you have to be close to the enemy. The closer you are, the more likely you're going to probably die. The further you are, the more of a chance you're going to kill them and run away. So range is one of the most important skills, and people will argue accuracy plays a big part, and yeah, the more accuracy you have, the closer your bullets are going to be together when you fire them. And, uh, you know, in theory it sounds like that would be more important than the range, but I've tried out the DTX set, which gives you 3% accuracy, and I found that my overall performance was shitty. When I switched to the RC infiltration gear again, my performance was infinitely better because my survivability was better. So, in my opinion, you want range, you want high rate of fire so that you can reload faster, and then you can get accuracy. And the best shotgun for you to get is the Lincoln. The starter Lincoln is very good uh, because it has such phenomenal rate of fire and uh, phenomenal range. As you scale up, I would go for the Lincoln rank 9, because that's the only one that might be comparable, but either weapon would be fine, and then just upgrade it. Um, when you get elite shotguns, get the Mag 4. People sell it for dirt cheap, and they don't realize how great that rifle is. Because it's not a pink weapon, it's not a blue weapon, it's just a white weapon that you can't buy from the stores. And it is probably the best shotgun you'll have. It has um, I think 80 range, 80 rate of fire, and 80 accuracy. It has all the stats that are very important. You don't need damage on your shotgun. If all three bullets hit, you'll kill them no matter what, no matter how weak your shotgun is. 
The only exception, I mean, not, not the only exception, but one exception to the rules when a Burt Spears, you can tank your damage with a shotgun. But, I mean, with a Burt Spears at you, you just shoot in the face of a rocket. Um, you know, that's pretty much what I do with my weapons. I'm sure people have other weapons for different styles of gameplay, but this worked out for me uh, the best. And, uh, you know, it's all about kind of exploring what kind of game style and gameplay you have. And for me, the weapons I have fit, um, fit my style exactly for all I need. Because I play um, an aggressive defender. So, you know, I'll wait around, wait for a chance to attack, and I'll attack. And all my weapons are designed for me to hit them and get out of there to recover or to annoy people. And people, you know, they buy all these pink guns, these blue guns, but really, you don't need those guns. The starter sniper, I use that. The starter shotgun, I use that. Rifles, different story. I mean, the starter rifle is pretty damn good. You can actually defeat people pretty easily with it. But I'm not a good rifler, so I'm using this. But Ledigar can use a starter rifle, and he'll take out people who have AP gear. The only thing that you don't want to use that starter, the rocket, because it's so slow. But any speed rocket will do. People will go for all the, you know, you don't need to buy pink weapons or blue weapons to really be a good player in this game. A lot of the weapons that are available to you in the store are going to be do, going to be your best friends for a long time. So, you know, if you want to play this game and compete with people who use AP or have a lot of AP stuff, those are the weapons I stick with. And it, it's helped me out on numerous occasions. So, you know, I hope that helps. Obviously, not going to work for everybody, but generally, I think that's what people use for their weapons. So, good luck, have fun, and, you know, hope you guys find something that works out for you.